found the ghast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! It looks so sad! Look at it! Is this a prank? Or is this actually his? Oh my gosh. Ghast, you okay? <laughs> that scared me so bad! My body was so... <laughs> I'm not saving you now, Ghast! You can rot in there! Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Harmony Hollow. So, I've been trying to think of what to do in today's episode. You know, besides going to try and get all my animals back from Jack. And I logged on, and I looked at my house, and I was like, what a disaster. I got boarded up windows from Jack. I got Christmas decorations all over still. I have signs all over from Jack. There's tons of lights everywhere. No animals. I looked under my ship at that glass sphere that I tried to work on so hard and then never finished. And I realized I need to put some more work into me this year. 2018. I need to put more work into me on Harmony Hollow, my plot of land. So I'm going to take a couple hours right now off camera to clean this up and maybe add some new things because maybe Jack is right. Maybe I need to give my animals a better home. So give me just a little bit and I will be back with some awesomeness and we can continue this episode. All right, so it's been two days since I filmed that intro of me working on and off on my house for once. And I have done a lot in those two days, including getting rid of my Christmas skin. I'm very sad that Christmas is over and I had to take my skin off, but that sounded weird, take my skin off. But I'm back to normal now. And as you can see, uh, my bridge leading up to my pirate ship's a little different. And so is my little teleporter thing. But first things first, I'm going to show you the first thing I worked on, which was my pirate dock. Ready? Voila! Look at it! Look at my pirate dock. So, I can't take full credit for this. I mean, I built it myself. However, I got the idea by visiting Midi and Ashvin Elf's area. They have an awesome ship dock that leads up to these two little ships. And I was like, you know what? I need to make my house way more piratey. I started in the beginning trying to be a rainbow loving pirate and I never followed through. So this is me following through. So look, when you walk through, it feels like you're about to walk aboard a pirate ship. We got barrels filled with random things, these cool lanterns that are, uh, these awesome lanterns that are wobbly. Oh, only from far away. Magic. Got these things that look like crates. We have an apple barrel, more crates, pirate flags. I'm gonna put some more random boats around it, but here's one. And yeah, it leads right to my ship. Midi and Ashvin Elf's links are in the description below if you wanna go check out their house and area. I highly recommend you do. It looks amazing, and that's where I got this idea from. Theirs is a bit bigger and more complex, but this is the best I could do. And while we're over here, let's check inside. I didn't do too much. This is still all pretty much the same. I added more shelves over there. Oh, and those books have to come down, I forgot. But if I go down here, this is still a work in progress, still a work in progress. I, I am not ready for hamsters yet, but look at my enchantment room. Look at all the lapis on this side, all these enchantment books on this side. And then I added more bookshelves. And yeah, I'm on my way to finally having a full enchantment room. I gotta make more bookcases, get more paper and whatnot for that. Mainly just wanted to show you that. I gotta, I could only do so much in two days of working on and off on things. And then if you go up here, this is all still pretty much all the same. I moved my deco bench in here. And then you may have noticed when I turned around, but my flags are finally representing me. I got the Z up here and I got the little pixel heart here. And oh, I love it. I love it. Look at it. Look at how much better it looks. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. See what some time and effort does. I'm far from done. Still want to build a lot more onto my house because it's my favorite part of Minecraft. But for now, this is this is what I could do before I had to film a video for you guys. And then over here is the beginnings of Llama Land. So I originally was trying to build a llama back here. And the only way to make it look decent was to make a giant llama. And it just looked ridiculous next to my house and ship. So I took the sandcastle structure idea and just made this whole area. I don't know if I'm gonna enclose any of it, but I figured it could at least give a little awning to the llamas in case it rains. 
Kind of put some glowstones in it. I gotta get more glowstone. But I eventually wanna make a little field area and give the llamas colorful blankets and... Oh, and also, I purposely made this building look like an L <laughs> for llama land. So yeah, this was the last thing I worked on. I didn't I didn't have as much time to try and finish it up, but it's getting there. You get the idea. I also kind of want to do a roller coaster type thing over here, but we will figure that out later. All right, coming back around to my house. I guess we'll check out the outside first. Over here, like you saw, I added these super pretty flower vines. I could not get the water to fully cover the whole thing like I wanted. It only covers like the walking through area. Uh, so I put these really cool flower vines that I clipped off of some of Nova's uh, overgrown house. They'll grow back. And then I put them all around mine. It's so cute. Especially when you come in from being teleported and you look around and there's just vines everywhere. Ooh, they started growing in here. Yes. So I want to put more in here too. And it looks so much cuter. Then if I walk around to this side, uh, yeah, I, I didn't fix that up yet either. Llama Land and the Polar Bear Exhibit are works in progress. And the hamster thing. <laughs> Over here, I found, I did not steal these sheep. I found them in my journey to get materials for all of this new stuff. I found and got them and dyed them. And I really want to make a bunch of rainbow sheep to put in this area so when they walk around they match my rainbow house. I put all this hay for them and look I even gave them little beds. So I think Fang, Jack's animal rights quote unquote protection group, should allow me to house sheep at this point because I gave them a cute little structure. I'm gonna make this bigger and I'm going to extend the yard over that way and maybe get different types of animals. But yeah, I actually have a proper animal area. Yay, it's about time. Oh, uh, Ice Cold left me a gift that we have to open after I show you all my new stuff. Uh, this is all still the same and I need to finish. And then when we go inside my house, down here is still pretty much the same. I think I only added this pirate map here because I thought that was cool. I added a loaf of bread on the table because of course bread. I love bread. And a barrel of uh, some type of pirate liquor because pirates love rum, of course. But the biggest change is when I go up here and you look this way. Look, I made like a pirate saloon. So I put this black and white carpet to match the pirate flags. When you walk in, it looks like you're in like a bar saloon area with the old timey piano and the bottles of rum and the pirate map. And you can just sit and chill. And then of course we had our prisoner over here and I got a proper hot tub and even a chill area with some sodas and a cooler. See, I mean, I'm just living my best life over here now. My best pirate rainbow life. This is so relaxing. Ah. And uh, I actually think that's it. <laughs> It seems like I do so much more because it takes me so long to go gather all of the materials. It's not like I'm building it all in creative. Like if I run out of wool for the flags, I gotta go get more or dye more. If I run out of sandstone, I gotta go collect more. I also, before starting to build, had to take down all of Jack's stupid deco craft stuff, which actually kind of worked out because I got to put it in my deco bench and use it to create all my new stuff. But yeah, if you guys have any other cool pirate edition suggestions for my house, let me know. Like things I haven't thought to add yet. I'm gonna keep going with uh, trying to add more rainbow trees, try to put more sand down on the ground, just to make everything look nicer and more put together and finish all this. But this is what I could get done in two days time before I absolutely had to try and film a video to get up for you guys. So now that that is done and I feel very accomplished, let's check out what kind of gift I got. Merry Christmas, here's a present. I hope you enjoy ice. So Ice Cold is our newest member to the server, but I think they joined like a week or two ago. I just, I hadn't said anything yet. Let's see what kind of gift I get. <gasps> what, what the heck is this? Really? What? What? This is the worst gift I've ever gotten. Please. Eh, eh, eh. Really? It's just never ending cobblestone? Oh my God, I need to destroy this. Uh, wait, you've been pranked very badly, but enjoy, what? 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 Oh my God. It's just all cobblestone. Are you kidding me? No, uh, ice cold. We got beef now, ice cold. We got beef. I thought, I thought you were cool. I was gonna be nice to you. Now I'm gonna be mean to you. Thank you for the red stained planks though. I think I might be using them. All right, it is gone. I should also probably move my car back. I don't know why it's over here. Somebody must have been joy riding. Oh, I don't have my keys. Crap, I don't know where the keys are. Uh-oh, can I push it? 
I can. Eh, go this way. Go this way, car. Eh. 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 But the keys are like right inside, probably. <laughs> I didn't even want to go look. There we go. See, we didn't need keys. It's it's perfect. All right, I got my pirate hat back on, and I'm ready to go take back some of my animals. I need to go find them, though. I hope they're kind of easy to find on his land, because I was not expecting some type of treasure hunt. I'm assuming he just brought them to his house somewhere. Oh, so let me get my lassos. Sheep, thanks for keeping them safe. Curse lasso can stay. And let's go to Jax and claim back what's rightfully ours. Finally, I think I think he's had my animals for like two weeks. All right, animals. Oh my God, why do I hear a ghast? Where's, does he have a ghast? <gasps> Where? Unless somebody pranked him with a ghast, cause that would be hilarious. Kinda scared. Animals, I've come to save you. I don't know where any of you are though. <gasps> I found the ghast. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it looks so sad. Look at it. Is this a prank or is this actually his? Oh my gosh. Gast, you okay? <laughs> that scared me so bad. My volume was so <laughs> I'm not saving you now, Gast. You can rot in there. Oh, it's my squids. Okay, where's the rest of my animals? Oh, llamas. Well, hello. Well, this isn't all of you. Uh, oh, some of you are in here. Okay. He's keeping you with sheep? That barbarian. You should know llamas hate sheep. Oh, there's a llama that's like out on its own. Llama. I mean, I'm assuming you're mine. I don't, I don't know. I forget how many I have. I don't want to take Jack's llamas again. I just, I just came to claim my animals. I mean, there's another llama in here. Oh, she's got purple eyes. All right, I'm taking her. I don't care if it was his llama or my llama. I don't know. Oh, there's my little snowman, guys. You could keep them. I'm done with Christmas and winter. I know one of my llamas is named Parrot, but none of these llamas are named Parrot. I also don't know where my dog is. Oh, there's my polar bear. Well, I'm not going to take my polar bear or my hamsters today because I'm not ready for them yet. <laughs> Jack is just like a free pet sitter. You just watch them until their habitats are built. Also, squids, I'm not ready for you yet either. Beware of gas. No entry. Oh, I think it is his. <gasps> Dogs! Parrot, which one are you? Right there! Parrot! Yes! I've come back for you. I don't know where my hamsters are. All right, I think that's enough animals for now. I'll have to look back at his video of him stealing them from me to see where he put them. Or if I got all of them back or not. I forget how many I had. I know, I'm a terrible pet owner. Actually, before I put out my puppy, let's get a dog house and a bone for him to be a good pet owner. So that Jack has no excuse to take him away from me again. Actually, this seems like a good spot for my dog's area. So I'll take my chill stuff and move it. Parrot, you're gonna get this whole area to yourself. What a good pet parent I am. I know. There you go. There you go, Parrot. Good boy. You may go in the hot tub whenever you like. And here's your bone. There you go. This is the chill chair here. And a little cooler here. There we go. And yeah, I just need the one chair. Who comes and chills with me anyway? Pirates live alone. Okay, definitely had more than three llamas. I know that. But welcome to your new home, llamas. This whole island is yours. That llama and this llama and this llama. All right, and purple eye llama. You're gonna get purple carpet. Cute! Then you could stay red and you could stay green. And I'm gonna get more llamas. So many llamas. I'm gonna give them all different colors. Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> Another thing we need to address this episode, while I was working on my island, I noticed that, oh, here it is. There's a perfectly square structure jutting out from the bottom of the island. Upon closer examination, I realized this thing was down here. I've never tried to win against one of these and I'm gonna do it with you guys because I don't want him causing lag by staying down here. Like once I put a lot of animals and stuff, he might lag my area. So we are gonna have to take him out. And uh, I think what I have to do is hit his back and hopefully I win something, but I, I'm not sure. So let's put my armor on. Pirate have off, arm on. And let the epic battle begin. Don't hurt me, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, yes! Oh no, wait a minute. Why is he asleep? Why is he not moving? Oh, do I need a diamond sword? Hello, hello. I should have a diamond sword anyway. I mean, I have the, uh, the ingredients to make one. So let's make one. But I also have the cursed lasso and I'm curious if I can get him with it. Llamas, don't worry, I will save you from this evil guy that lives underneath your island. He's still not awake. Okay. <gasps> oh! <laughs> what? Why? Oh, oh god. Can I get him? Can I get him? Can I? Eh, I can't get him! Is not a hostile mob. 
What? Really? Maybe because he's a boss. I don't know. All right, we're gonna try and take him out. Oh, how do I take you out? Stop living under my house. Oh, ow. All right, I'm looking up how to kill you. It says I just have to find a weak spot. Oh, ow. Which is that? Maybe I have to be on the ground to hit him. Come on. Oh, no. What the heck? Oh! Meh! Meh! What about the hammer? Or the axe? I doubt it, but... Oh! He's getting hurt, and now he's frozen. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Ooh, that hurt me a lot. Heal! Minecraft me heal! Maybe it's because of the water? Maybe I should plug up the water? I can't. I have nothing to plug it up with. There. Is that better? There you go. Ow. I think it's when his thing gets stuck. Hit me. Ow. Yes. Yes! Okay, I figured it out. I gotta wait for him to get stuck and then hit him. Ow. If I survive that long. Hit the floor! There we go. Yes. Oh my god, he's almost dead. What an epic battle. Ow! Hit me! Ow! I didn't actually mean to. Hit the floor! Yes! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Ow! <laughs> eh. Yes! Yes! Die! This is my land! Ooh, what'd I get? <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Oh, yes. I look so evil now. Yes. Never breaks. Ooh. Ooh. What else did I get? Axe of a thousand metals. Whoa. Oh, my God. Jack's not going to mess with me now. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my God. That's amazing. Never breaks. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, armored demon who was living under my llama land. Do I get anything else? Is there anything buried under here? I don't think so. I guess that was it. Just to uh, beat him and take his stuff. Cool. Don't fear llamas. I have vanquished the evil that lies beneath you. Don't be scared. Llama's like, I'm not scared. I love you. You saved me from Jack. Yes. All right. And I think that's going to be it for this episode of Harmony Hollow. I need to work on my hamster area and I need to finish Llama Land and finish. I have a lot to finish. Okay. I have a lot to finish. <laughs> But if you guys have ideas, suggestions of things I should build or do to my area, make sure to leave them in the comments below. As always, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like before you go. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon. I have the power! Nobody better mess with me. No way. Not Jack, not CPK, none of them. <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>